what's up guys so as you guys have probably heard there is a thing called skill delay now if you don't know what skill delay is i'm going to show you so basically more or less what you do is for every set of skills you have right you can go up to this tab where you see the two arrows at the right tap this and then you'll have your different sets right so like for example my first set I can set the delay to no delay, one second, two second, three second, no delay, and then three second, right? Now you might be wondering, why do I have it set this way? Well, I think in terms of stuns. I'm a stun build, I'm running a holy guide build that'll soon turn to profit. The reason why is, so if I wait a second, then pop it, it's one and a half seconds. So that gives me exactly two or half a second for the next one to fire off. And then in that half a second, that'll run for another three seconds. And during that three second duration, right? Okay. Two seconds will go by. And then I will need that third skill to pop. Because at this point, my two stuns have gone. Okay. So I need a shield because now whatever the stun's going to do is now no, no longer valuable. So I need the shield, right? And then after that, shield goes off, right? And again, the key here is remembering how long it lasts, which is 10 seconds. That 10 second delay will then fire off the smoke bomb for another five seconds within range by 30%. Now, what's interesting about that is, is I fire that off at exactly the same time. So I'll get exactly 10 seconds of this, five seconds of him stunned, and me consistently rampaging around. But because of the skill CD duration, by that time, one and two seconds go by, I'll have another one and a half seconds of this, another three seconds of that, making seven seconds, and therefore only a three second delay till I have a, another stream shield and rinse repeat. And then because I have Wild Gust in here, I can just consistently pop Wild Gust over and over and over because this has no delay since it's the fourth skill on my rotation. And that's, you know, kind of the logic behind skill delays, is that you can use them in, a, in such a way that you can actually consistently keep your opponent stunned, you know, in this case, or you could use it for any number of cases, right? But that's kind of the idea behind the sets and the skill durations, and it, it'll help you out whenever you're wanting to do, like, you know, higher tier... Um, especially as you get higher and higher rankings. Um, I really have never really noticed how valuable this was until I started doing Soul Trial because I'd run into snakes and snakes are kind of a pain. So like here you can see, you know, two and a half seconds of stun. And then by the time the stun fails, then the shield pops. And then I've got a two to three second delay before the next shield pops. Yeah, and, and that three second delay, you know, I could try to modify it in such a way that maybe I pop the smoke shield you know, maybe after that 10 second delay, so that way I get a stun right after. You know, like that's entirely an option. So like what we could do is just go in here. We could tweak it, you know, that's the nice thing is that now that you know where to look, um, this is really all you have to do is just play with it, really. Um, so like in here, I'll just go into my first set. I'll say, you know, instead of maybe three seconds, let's do it right at 10 seconds, which should be about when the shield ends, right? And that'll give us a five second pop. Now, of course, that is another stun that we don't have, but again, it, the idea in principle here is to give us the amount of time we would need for that shield. So that way, when the shield pops, we'll be able to have, you know, gotten the full use out of it, right? So here, we'll just go ahead and uh, go back into Acquisition, go to Soul Trial, and we'll, we'll actually watch and play and see how it works. So here, nothing pops, the shield's going, and 10 seconds pop, boom, my shield's down, but he's stunned. And then that gives my shield enough time so that I can repop it. And again, that's that's the key thing here. It's like you you have the ability to kind of control what you can do with skill delay. So skill delay is a huge huge benefit in terms of what you can do as a holy guide build. I mean, for me personally, I found this to be one of the nicest changes <laughs> that I've gotten access to because this has made it so that you can actually kind of strategize how you want those skills to pop, when you want them to pop, and how you want them to pop. Um, of course, you know, needless to say, hopefully this was somewhat helpful for you if you didn't know what skill delay was and what to look for, and I'll see you guys in the next video.